One of the reasons why I'm making this message today is I did a part one, part two, this is part three of it's more to life than sex. Yes, it's more to life than sex. It's more to life than bumping and grinding. It's more to life than having all these babies without being married. But I say it's more to life because the Bible say in Thessalonians that the, the body and soul might be blameless. Hey, glory to the body, soul, and mind be blameless before God. So I tell people, my friend, it's more to life than taking your drawers off. You go to God. Amen. Because, my friend, we live in a world where people, that's all they think about is sex. Sex in the morning. Sex in the afternoon. Sex in the evening. And sex at night. It's more to life than sex. A lot of people get married for sex. And they end up, Lord to God, at divorce court because they think that sex is love and love is sex. I didn't understand what you said. No, my friend. I say it's more to life than sex. My friend, you ain't get, you don't get married for sex. Because if you get married for sex, your sex, the, the marriage is not going to last because it's more that's in the box than just sex. When we look at 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, amen, and, and if a person struggling with love, the Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men of angel and have not charity, I become a sound and brass and timbling symbol. The Bible says, love bears all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things, love and never fail. Love is patient, love is kind, love don't push itself. Love does not rejoice in iniquity. I'm talking about love. A lot of people don't know about love. They know about sex. You know about, about bumping and grinding. Amen. And, and I tell I tell people, my friend, if a man just wants sex, he glory to God, he's a sex addicted. And just as women, if a woman just wants sex, she's sex addicted. And never marry a person that's sex addicted. They're addicted to sex, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Because your vagina can't, hey, glory to God, can't satisfy them. Amen. Glory to God. And your, per, your, your man, private part, glory to God, cannot, hey, glory to God, satisfy them. Amen. Come on now. I'm talking about glory to God sex is not the ultimate goal for a marriage. The ultimate goal for marriage is L-O-V-E. Love, longevity, operational, victory, not victim, and everlasting love. Amen. Love is not just temporarily. Love is not a one night stand. Amen. A lot of people getting married for one night stand. Amen. You're wondering, hey, glory to God, a person that you marry, hey, glory to God, you ain't married for love. You're married for say. You can't wait until you say, I do. And then, my friend, you find out it's not what I want. I don't do, I don't want this anymore because your ultimate goal was sex. You don't get married for sex. You don't get no friendship. Friendship, my friend, if just friendship, friendship, just friendship, but you want a relationship, get married, then sex. The Bible say, my friend, it's better to marry than to burn. It don't mean burn, go to hell. It mean that if you, glory to God, you want, you just want sex, my friend, hey, glory to God, you should go ahead and have, and have the person married to you. Amen. But don't let sex become your ultimate goal in life. Amen. Friends don't have sex with each other. Amen. You can have a friendship, then the friendship turn into relationship, the relationship turn into marriage ship, and then you live happy ever after. But friendship don't, don't, don't all of a sudden you won't have sex because y'all friends. No, that's nasty. Amen. You know how many marriages are broken up because the spouse is horny the man is horny and the wife is freaky why why get married 
If you're freaky, you need to see a psychiatrist. You need to see a doctor. Amen. And I'm telling people, my friend, a lot of time, yeah, yeah, think about, yeah, think about glory to God. You wanna, you wanna go to a, a, a therapy. You need to go to the Lord. You need to let the Lord rescue you because you got a problem. You need to be born again. You need Jesus in your life. Amen. And a lot of these pastors, glory to God, they are freaky, my friend. They are prostitute and they are horny. Anytime you want to tell your members to come to church, not, not have no panties on and have no bra on, and you tell the usher to, to usher Sister Sue all the way up front, you just nasty. Hallelujah. You need deliverance. The Bible talk about the, the loin, the belt, the girdle of truth, my friend. Hey, glory to the loin, the, the belt of truth protect your loins. Put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor mean that, my friend, it protect your private part. Hey, glory to God. Your brain is not between your legs. Your brain is in your head, not between your legs. And a lot of y'all, y'all think of between your legs rather than think about in your head. It's more to life than sex. Are you listening to me, my friend? Hey, man, I'm a t I am tell individual, my friend, God deliver me, hey, glory to God, from being addicted to sex. And I want to know, hey, glory to God, my friend, that's why I got married and I got seven children, hey, glory to God. I don't have every, ch I don't have children all over the state. Like some, like some people, you have, you have five baby by five baby mama. You, you, you just, you just a hoe. That's what you are. You are a freaky hoe. Hey, amen. And I feel sorry for those children. Those, those children, my friend, glory to God, they are conf they're going to be confused because the daddy, glory to God, his his brain is between his legs. Hey, glory to God. Listen to me, my friend. It's more to life than sex. Amen. We got to be spiritual being, not sexual being. And, and I don't understand I don't understand women nowadays my friend this man don't take care of your first child why are you going to end up having two or three child by a bum hallelujah and some of y'all whip my friend glory to God you need to get on the whip you need, to, you need the Holy Ghost you need to be saved you need to be sanctified you need to be satisfied don't make a penis satisfy you hey glory to God amen it's more to life than sex it's more to life than bumping and grinding. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Some of y'all, y'all listen to these songs. That's why Christians should not listen to secular music. Because secular music is sexual music. Sexual healing. You know, sexual healing is, is spiritual healing. Let God heal you. Don't let sex heal you. Sex become a God where people worship. You worship sex, my friend. And I tell people, my friend, you ought to teach your children not to make the mistake that you're making. You, you horny. Hey, going, yes, you horny. That's why these children don't have a, a baby, a, a, a daddy home. The home become reckless. The home become a, a messed up, my friend. Hey, go, we ought to teach our children be, how to be abstinent. Hey, glory to God. Or get married. Don't sell your virginity, glory to God, for, for a one night stand. Don't sell your virginity for million dollars or one thousand dollar keep your virginity for your husband keep your virginity for your wife and i tell people my friend hey glory to god the reason why marriage don't work out because glory to god y'all giving up your virginity hey glory to god anytime and this is this is made for this is made for 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 adults it's not made for children my friend Amen. Anytime you having sex, my friend, and you get married, hey, and both of y'all are virgin, and when the when the blood is splattered all over the penis, my friend, that's a blood covenant. Hey, glory to God. That means that this man, glory to God, that, that hallelujah, bursted your virginity, my friend. He going to spend the rest of life with you forever and ever. Amen. Your virginity is not for somebody single. Your virginity is for spousal. 
So it's more to life than sex, my friend. And a lot of y'all, y'all need sex 101. You need to be know the reason of sex. Sex is for marriage. Sex is not for singleness. Sex is not to bring these bastard children into this world. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and my friend, it's sad. It's sad when you, hey, glory, uh, uh, you are adult, my friend, and you bringing children into your parents' house, my friend, and you're going to sleep on a bed and then, then sleep on a floor. You have a sleep on a floor, then sleep on a bed. My friend, you got to think about it. Don't think between your head, between your legs. Think in your head. Hallelujah. My friend, if you, if you still staying at your parents' house, my friend, you shouldn't have no babies. Hey, glory to God. And if the man still staying in his mother house, he shouldn't have no babies. Because what happened, my friend? You gonna clutter or you gonna crowd the apartment or clout or crowd the house because you think that life is life is all about sex. No, life is not about sex. Life is about the savior. Life is about the scripture. Life is about a soon coming king. My friend, it's more to life than sex. And y'all need to be, be taught about sex. Sex is for marriage. Sex is not for singleness, my friend. Hey, glory to God. And y'all need to teach y'all children. Don't make the mistake, hey, glory to God, of having all these children all over the world. All these children, every state you go, you can have a baby, my friend. Come on now. Close your legs. Oh, glory to God. You need prayer. You need you need to practice Absent. You need to practice, my friend. It's better to marry than to burn. But it's more to life than sex. And the reason why, the reason why some of these men, hey, glory to God, rape you. The reason why these men love you because you wear leggings. And the reason why you wear leggings, you're not wearing leggings because you're in a gym. You're not wearing leggings. You wear leggings to expose your body, to turn these men on, to have sex with you. And that's all they want because they see, they see that big butt, they see the big breast, they see all these fake eyelash on you. And you think that, oh, glory to God, it attract. My friend, what track men is love. What track men, my friend, is purity. Hey, glory to God. No man don't want no swamp. No man, no, no woman don't want a man that's worn out. Hey, glory to God. So it's more to life than sex. And that's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all just sexual hallelujah, horny. Y'all sexual freaky, my friend. Because Christians should not listen to secular music. Satan is the origin of sexual, sexual songs, my friend. Hey, glory to God. Y'all listen to much Rihanna. Y'all listen to all these people that's all they talk about is sex. They dress in sex to turn you on and you supposed to be in love. You ain't in love, you in lust. It's more to life than sex. It's more to life than a vagina. It's more to life than a penis, my friend. Y'all need to be taught the reason why sex is. Sex was for marriage. When Adam and Eve was in the garden, my friend, they was married. Hey, glory to God. They wasn't single having all these babies all over the place. Y'all just freaky. Glory to God. Come on now. Y'all just freaky being. Hey, it's more than a breast. It's more than a butt. It's more, glory to God, bumping and grinding. It's more than making noise. Hallelujah. It's more to turn off the light. Keep, keep the light on, my friend. Get married. There ain't nothing wrong with marriage. Marriage, my friend. Hallelujah. The Bible says marriage is, is honorable in the sight of the Lord, but whoremongers and adultery, God gonna judge. Your body was made for your husband. Your body was made for your wife. And anytime you having sex with different parties, partners, my friend, you are having a demon. And that's why some of y'all are demon possessed because you, 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 you your body become a, a whorehouse. Hey, glory to God. So, it's more to life than sex. Yes, sex, my friend, sex. Sex is good in marriage. Sex is nasty in homosexuality. Sex is nasty in bestiality. And sex is nasty in lesbianism. My friend, God, hallelujah, forbid homosexuality. God forbid fornication. God forbid adultery. God forbid bestiality. God forbid treasome. God forbid, hallelujah, all these sexual, hallelujah, promiscuity. God forbid. And some of y'all, y'all need 
need prayer, especially y'all church folks. Y'all just nasty. Y'all go to church to find a man. Y'all go to church to find a woman. Y'all go to church, my friend, and have all this imagination. Honey, you need deliverance. David, hallelujah, had a sex problem. Samson had a sex problem. But Samson, hey, Lord, say, Lord, remember me. And David said, have mercy on me. What's your excuse? You need to come to God and say, Lord, deliver me from sex. Hey, glory to If God delivered me, God can deliver you too. Oh, glory to God. What's it? If God delivered me, God can deliver you too. It's more to life than sex. You ought to look at Hallelujah in Proverbs. Proverbs talk about this, this woman. Hey, glory to She's a wife and she was a whore. Look at, look at, look at Proverbs 7 chapter. When her husband went away, she was a whore. When her husband went at home, she was a wife. My friend, it's more to life than sex. Y'all need deliverance. Look at 1 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. How this man, hey, glory to God, he say a fornication uh, that's worse. This man having sex, hey, glory to God, with his with his father's wife, hey, glory to God. And God, and Paul said, I'm going to let Satan destroy this man because he, I ain't never heard about a sex like this in a Gentile. What this man was doing, he was having sex with his father's wife. Hey, glory to God. And I'm telling somebody right now, my friend, you need deliverance. You need a savior. And a savior is not sex. The savior is not pornography. The savior is not bumping the ground. The savior is Jesus Christ. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Y'all need deliverance. Yes, I say you. Anytime you're having babies and you're not married, you need deliverance. You got a sex demon. What a sex demon? you having baby out of wedlock. you having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten babies, and you ain't married. You got a demon called sex. Hey, glory to God. Yes, what I say? You got a demon called sex. Sex is a demon, my friend. Sex is good when you're married, but sex is nasty when you're single. Sex is nasty when you're homosexual. Sex is nasty when you're, when you're, when you're lesbian. BC, y'all doing to y'all dogs. You doing to animals. That's bestiality. And it's more to life than sex. Hey, glory to God. 